So with Jurassic World more or less destroying the box office today, uh, this uh, this past few days, I decided to take it upon myself to kind of do a little digging around of why one of the reason, one of the driving reasons behind Jurassic World did so well. And you could say, and this is a valid explanation as well, that you know Jurassic World was playing in a universe it was just. Uh, it was paying homage to the original film while at the same time not trying to top or be that original film. The other reason, and this is one that I've seen a lot on like message boards and a few places here and there, and a few places on YouTube, is that we have dinosaurs. People are caring about dinosaurs again. Is that not awesome? And I think the main point behind dino the you know of why Jurassic World did so well is because dinosaurs really do spark the imagination. They really do, you know, when you think about it, you just, sometimes you just can't wrap your head around, oh my god, these things were real. You know, if you ever go into a museum and you see, like, a full skeleton of, like, a T-Rex or a Triceratops or, an al or something of that like, you look at that thing and be like, that thing was real. That thing existed. It lived where I would live one day millions of years in the future. Sometimes you just can't wrap, wrap your head around just the total awe and mystique of what a dinosaur represents. They are, as I said, the full form, you know, the like embodiment of what the imagination it creates from. And yeah, I, I know I did a video similar to this where I talked about how dragons kind of spark imagination and whatnot, but let's face it, these things were, dinosaurs were actually living, physical things. And when you think about it, these things were like real kaiju. Hell, if it weren't for dinosaurs, we probably wouldn't have, you know, kaiju being created. So, it <laughs> yeah, these things were like the original kaiju. They were like the, you know, end-all, be-all of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Uh, what's the damn it? What's the word I'm looking for? They were, you know, they were real monsters, and you know, all they did, you know, they they traveled every point of the world. Well, almost every part of the world. For one thing, they weren't there just to be like, oh, we conquer this land, or oh, we take over. No, it's more like, hey, there's the the food's over there. Let's go to over there to find more food. Yeah, I like food. That's a conversation a dinosaur usually has in its mind with another dinosaur. Deal with it. <laughs> anyway. So I think that's another driving force of why I think Jurassic World has been doing so well, because dinosaurs are, you know... Dinosaurs are just there. They're just awesome. They just don't have to be, you know... They don't even have to be, like, the T-Rex or, you know, some ther or uh, some theropod meat-eating dinosaur. <laughs> For all you non-dino fans, uh, they could you could just have a Triceratops, and people are going to be like, <gasps> Triceratops... And that goes as well for, like, ancient mammals as well, like the woolly mammoth or the smilodon. These things, you know, you look at these things, or at least their bones, and you look at them and be like, God bless America, these things are real. What did evolution do to make these things? And that's the thing, we don't re you know, we've barely... The other thing about dinosaurs is that we still don't know a lot about them. You know, we have... All, all we have of them is their bones. All, and some and most of them are incomplete. Most of them, uh, you know, <laughs> don't have a lot of stories to tell. So I think there's also that aura of mystique behind what a dinosaur is. Like, if you ever, like, see a skeleton of a dinosaur and you see, like, bones missing or whatnot... Sorry about that, but what I, as I was saying, you want you look at this skeleton, you're like, what's that thing's story? Why is half its tail missing? Why is its skull cracked? You know, every bone told its own story. Every battle wound, every pummeling, every, you know, shattered femur had a story behind it. And you kind of look at these bones and go, wow, what is this thing's story? How did it die? How did it live? All these just questions just kind of run through your mind. And I think that kind of, that's another, you know, another element to what a dinosaur is uh, to us is that it had, you know, every, but like I said, every bone told a story and we were, and every one of us wanted to know the full extent of that story to each skeleton. 
I think another major factor behind why we find dinosaurs so fascinating, and I brought it up a bit earlier in the video, is that the other thing is that I think pe um, when you look at a dinosaur and see why they're almost on every part of the planet, keyword almost, <laughs> but almost everywhere, even in the deepest part of the sea, sometimes you find skeletons and you look at it and go, these things didn't need cars, they didn't need armies, they didn't need ships or anything to rule the world. They ruled the world just fine. <laughs> they just, you know, and they went about their lives. They didn't think about, you know, grand, you know, grand schemes of the universe. They just went, hmm, what's to, <laughs> what am I going to do today? Fight, fuck, eat. That's, that's on my agenda today. <laughs> that was pretty much the mindset of every single dinosaur in pretty much every part of the world. That was that's when they woke up today. It was like eat, find a mate, have babies, and eat some more. Ooh, I'll go over there today. <laughs> yeah, and the other thing is that I think another uh, the other reason is that dinosaurs can be taken anywhere. They can be, and what I mean is, media can take them anywhere. Whether making them, you know, from documentaries to uh, sitcoms. <laughs> Not the mama, not the mama. You know what I mean? <laughs> From, you know, action thriller movies to sci-fi films to, you know, fight having a having a T-Rex fight a giant gorilla. The you know, dinosaurs can be are so versatile in terms of media. They've been used they can be used in any form. Hell, we had a 90s cartoon where a bunch of dinosaurs, you know, were pretty much like the Ninja Turtles in a sense. Well, not in a sense. Yeah, I know they were they were a rip off like Street Sharks to Ninja Turtles. We can't d tap dance around that, people. They they were, <laughs> yeah. So among a you know with that, we all you also have to take into account that with uh when you you know with all of that, all of that behind you know dinosaurs. It's um it's astonishing that you know they have you know they can live on they can keep living on through all through media comics TV shows documentaries f in museums that they have this lasting impact on every on almost every generation of mankind they have on every generation of humans even in the farthest future I guarantee you that even in the farthest future people are going to look back on these dinosaurs and go. How did they do it? And why do they keep, you know, why do we keep coming back to dinosaurs in any form of media or, you know, in our own minds? Why, you know, it just sparks that, inner, you know, dinosaurs just spark that inner imagination inside of us and it just sparks that little, in, uh, that inner kid. Well, for most of us, uh, for most people, it sparks that, that inner child that just wants to go back to being a kid that just wants to, uh, that wants to play with rubber dinosaurs in the bathroom again. Not saying I did that. No, <laughs> no. Oh God, I I was I was a har I was. God, <laughs> my childhood, people, my childhood. Anyway, but that was uh, that's the thing. You always looked at dinosaurs and had that feel of like, yeah, this is a dino. This is so cool. Hell, I'm pretty sure there are people who go to like. You ever seen like animatronic? You know those little theme parks or those little. Uh, there was one in the museum I had that had a special of like uh, animatronic dinosaurs in like one of their exhibits, and people would just stand for hours watching these. You know, just stand for like several minutes watching these animatronic dinosaurs just make the same jerky move a few times over again, and people are going ooh and ah over and over again because it was a dinosaur to them. And uh, yeah. That's another big thing, is that, you know... That, <laughs> why do you think the Jurassic Park uh, side of Adventure Island gets so much attention? Well, that and, you know, with Jurassic World being so big, but still, people just go there to see the closest thing they'll ever find to a real dinosaur. And I use the, and I use the, the quotations for the word real. Ugh. And that's kind... That's, um... That's kind of the dri that's kind of a major driving point right there that you really have to look at is that it's really just all fun. It's really all there to be 
you know, something to look at, something to imagine, like, how did, where did this thing, you know, look at a T-Rex skeleton, and you look at it and go, what was that thing's story, and, you know, how far did it get in life before, <laughs> how far did it get in its walk of life before it died, or, you know, you look at a, you know, Mosasaur, and you're like, how far did it go until, you know, did it get eaten by another dinosaur or, or another sea creature? Did a me you know did a megalodon come along and kick his ass or what? We have to know these things. <laughs> we have that's the uh, and yeah, it just kind of makes us th you know just makes us think more and more. And obviously, yeah, I'm being a t and I understand people that as I'm making this video, this is just me gushing over dinosaurs. I under I fully. 100% understand that I'm just gawking over dinosaurs, because I, wa I was that. I was that kid who had that imagination sparked by, you know, the roar of a T-Rex, or seeing a, you know, animatronic triceratops at a museum. Hell, it, <laughs> if anything, hel dinosaurs helped open the door to me for Godzilla, and, you know, in the, to a lesser extent, superheroes. Because, again, superheroes spark the imagination, much like dinosaurs do. So, yeah. If anything, I owe a big thing to dinosaurs. They were like my original. They dinosaurs were my original fandom. They were the they were the thing that got me into. They were the gateway fandom. I guess you could say, yeah, uh, the gateway fandom of getting into liking all these other you know great fandoms that I'm now a part of today. So big hand for dinosaurs. They are completely one hundred percent totally. Freaking awesome. <laughs> and that's, yeah, that is. I know this video is just nothing more than me going, Yay, dinosaurs are awesome! Yay! And you can't see it, but I'm doing the Kermit the Frog hand, uh, wavy hands with the Yay! part. <laughs> yeah, so you guys tell me, what do you guys think of dinosaurs? And, yeah, I know I kind of repeated myself in some places, because I kind of, I, I love my train of thought went off the rail several times, so you'll have to excuse me on that. But yeah, once again, uh, you guys tell me what do you think of this video? Uh, what do you think of dinosaurs? Like them? Hate them? And where do they stand in your life? But anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.